Let's take a look at what came with this servo. First of all, it comes with these little, these little, uh, little rubber things. They're called little, these are called servo mounting grommets, okay? And if you look closely, you see that they're, they're pretty much round all the way across, but on one end, there's a little, a little uh, uh, part where it's got a little square indentation, and that's the part that goes out. So the round part, it goes in, you just, just plug them right in here, theoretically. Come on, go in there. There we go. And you'll notice that the little, the little uh, square part is sticking out right there, or there, so that, that helps alignment. So I'll put those in. These are traditionally used to um, avoid vibration from RC motors and stuff, but I see no reason not to use them uh, because there's a lot of times where if you have like, like a remote control head with like 18, uh, we've, we've had like one of the Predator heads that, uh, that Richard Landon built for Predator 2 had 42 servos in it. So you can imagine that there was a little bit, a little bit of vibration happening from those servos. Um, so this just kind of helps just kind of like deaden those down a little bit. So let me get that in there. There we go. All right, so there's the servo with the little, the little grommets on it. And then if you take a look here um, on the table, there's these little brass inserts, okay? And these little brass inserts go inside the hole. And these, these are for, to, uh, to keep you from over tightening the, uh, the little grommets. And of course, it comes, the nice thing is these little servos come with these little wood screws that, that are used for it. And what they are is the, they go in through the bottom so that the, the flat flange part is going to be the part that goes up against the wood. Um, unless you're going to mount them upside down, then you would put them in the top. So I'll go ahead and, and uh, put this in here. There we go. And I'll put the other one here. If I can get it in. There we go. And that way the screws go into them through the top and they allow, them, allow you to create pressure and, and set them in, but the, but the grommets without, without crushing the grommets. Um, also, if you start crushing the grommets, it starts to, to make the servos get a little off kilter like this. So it's, it's, it's better. So, so I, I like using them. Um, um, I, I know some people wonder about like, if you use these grommets, if there's going to be too much flex in the servo going back and forth. And I've, I've never really had that problem. So that, that seems to be okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put this guy in here and then I will grab a pencil so I can make a little mark so where I can make the drill. So, all right, here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna go in here, get that lined up where I want it. And there we go. Cool, so you can see my little pencil marks for I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these started with my, my uh, automatic center punch here and I, I've dialed it down so that it's not, you know, if you, if you dial it all the way in here again, so this is gonna be like a really um, uh, intense uh, uh, hard hole, and, but to make it a little bit lighter, I'll go ahead and dial it down like that. And so then I'll just go ahead and, here we go, put it right over the mark. And once again over here as well. Okay. Now I'll just grab a drill. All right. All right, so here goes one. And here goes number two. Okay, so blow that off real quick. I'll throw my server on the floor because that's the Craig test to see if that survives. 
And I'll go ahead and put this in here again. And I'll start one of these. They have little Phillips heads, so that's good. Okay, I started one, and then I'll go to the other side and start the other side. I want to, like usual, I want to get both of these screws started before making one the other, both making one permanent because um, there's always the case that uh, if I tighten one down, it might misalign the other one. So there we go, it's one. And you can get them pretty tight too because that little, that little brass um, sleeve in there um, allows you to, to do this without, uh, without crushing the grommet, so. All right, there we go. There's a servo attached. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the other horn on here that I'm going to use. And I'll just, so all I had to do to do that is, there we go. Was, uh, it, once again, the servo itself has a Phillips head. And I'll take the little screw out. And you'll notice that there's a little, there's, it comes, this one comes with a little, uh, whoops, here we go. You can see right on the end there is a little tiny, uh, uh, I'm not sure what kind of these kind of washers are. Um, my viewing group, what kind of washer is this for extra points? It's got the little uh, star inside of it. I'm not sure what, it, what kind of washer that's called, but, but, uh, but call in and let me know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to remove this one. And there you can see the little metal gear head. Now this isn't the only metal gear inside this uh, uh, servo, although that they really help. Some of these, um, if if it doesn't say Metal Gear or RMG or something else, it might. This might be actually made of nylon. Um, and when you're when you're pushing heavy loads, I've seen cases where these nylon gears have stripped out. Also on the inside, there's inside there's also a little gear arrangement of of several other gears that that uh, uh, attach this this gear to the to the actual motor, and those are are also made out of metal as well. So, all right, so let me grab my little servo tester. I'm gonna plug this guy in so I can center him. Chris Ellerby thinks that's a lock washer you were showing. That makes sense, yes. Thank you. Show that lock washer. I again. think it's a lock washer. You're right. That's right. So I put this on the center. So so now the servo centered. I can unplug it, and I'm fairly happy with where that is. All right. So, and for now, I'm going to stick this straight up and down. I'm not sure where its final resting place will be, but but uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it at that. Oh, hmm. and actually, uh, Mark Wolf says it's a star washer. Okay. And I, Mike Naki says well, it's an internal star washer. That even makes more sense because the star is on the inside. Um, and now so. Brian says it's an internal or external tooth lock washer. <laughs> awesome. It's a star washer, it's a lock washer, it's a tooth lock washer, it's whatever you need it to be. It's funny because most of those describe the, the washer itself too. So, all right, so there it is. Um, so there's that. This is going to be the other eyebrow servo. And at this point, I'm going to take a look at, uh, okay, I'm going to set this aside for a second, and I'm going to go back here and look at, at my, my uh, five-minute epoxy, which is a little, it's still not completely cured, but it is hardened. It's a little bit on the sticky side, but that's, that's okay. I'm not going to do this one first. I'm going to do the one that I did yesterday that's already set up.